Hey, how's it going, Mr. Tactical? Here, Tactical Reviews. Uh, we also got Tony and Seth, our regulars. Hey. And we got a new one in here, in the, in the house here, Seth. He's on the floor. Sean. 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 <laughs> Sorry, Sean. I'm bad with names. Oh, Christ. It's hot in this thing. So I hope everybody is uh, doing all this COVID crap. Uh, we're going to be playing around with different guns. What? Looking at guns? No. No. Guns. Crap. Hey, hand me a beer, will you? <laughs> <laughs> nope. The other one. There you go. Any flavored? No, I want my bottle, man. I'll take my coffee. Ooh, I even got my own bottle. Oh, this, one was oh, this one's a blonde. I do like blondes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they're uh, expensive, too. They're okay, so... Horrible. So... You brought in a three uh, seven six two pistol, uh, AR pistol. You said you shot it once or twice. I have. Do you and you still have eyebrows? I do. Okay. He has safety goggles. He has safety <laughs> goggles. On. You need like a face shield because the, the I had safety glasses. That's all yeah. I had, and I still have eyebrows. Yeah. The the last thing that Tony and I built that was similar to that was a three hundred blackout, and it was sending out flames. Pretty much five feet in every direction from the muzzle and i shot two rounds and i had to put the gun down i thought my face was on fire <laughs> i never saw such a huge fireball and i pulled that trigger twice <laughs> yeah i've ran about 20 30 rounds through it it's a seven and a half inch barrel it definitely is a shorty yeah i know 762 is one that i want to um i, I want to get built are you having any problems feeding Yes. Seven six twos don't like AR frames. No, and that's where I have two different brands of mags, and I've only ran rounds through Pro Mags. That's mm -hmm. the ones that I got with it, and yep. then I ordered some Dura mags because I heard I read really good reviews on them for the seven six two. But everybody seems to have problems. The the reason for that is um, the AKs the seven six twos have a very curved mag. Yep. And it needs that curve in the bullet, you know, for the bullets to travel. Yep. Where an AR has a far less curve to it because the seven, uh, <coughs> the two, two, three, and five, five, six rounds. It goes up the ramp easier. They or? go up the ramp easier. Um, what happens is when it gets up to the top, it's doing this kind of thing. Okay. It's, yes. it's trying, and then when you try to lift it, that the bullet is actually plunging too low into the feed ramp. Okay. It doesn't want to go up. And that's where, yeah, it, the issues that I had with it seemed like that, what you just explained, because yep. the wear was getting caught. Yep. And even with oh, these man. magazines, you're still running into a problem where you're going straight. Yeah, because it has, it to, it it has helps. to go straight at some It does point. help. But um, I know that this they have some hybrid uh, receivers that change the mag well they actually shorten it up quite a bit yeah they okay. literally like yeah they they the chop whole... that bottom so off then it like actually slides in like an yeah AK so it will go one. click in okay like an ar like an ak would yeah instead of an ar which is sliding in and that's one of the biggest reasons that i've kind of stayed away from the ak uh AK, akar yeah. uh designs simply because AR of the ar 47s <laughs> ak 15s um it's simply because of the feed problems See, and that's where I was intrigued by it, just because it is a 7.62 by 39. It's different. I like yeah. different, but that's where I'm running into that. It's actually, yes. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I, I Too different? That's what, no, I'm not giving up on it yet. It's the just, nice thing about this is that you can get a get a lower that's actually built for 7.62 39. Yeah. Which would be yeah. beneficial. Yeah. Your, your other option would be to ditch the 7.62 by 39 and go to 300 blackout. It's the same caliber, but it uses a two two three trim down case. Okay. So you have that same feed that you would with any other two two three. But my I, I'm very serious in this aspect. You stay you gotta be really, really careful with mixing three hundred blackout and two two three. Uh three hundred blackout round will chamber fully into a two two three chamber. Big couple. And it will explode. It it will blow up in your face, and you and if you so if you get a three hundred blackout mixed in with your two two threes, mm -hmm. it'll go in just like a two two three will, and it'll mm -hmm. go bang, but it'll go way louder, and it's really really bad news. Um, I 
what I do is, where do I even have one of these here? I got all, oh, I'll just grab this here. These little mag bands, I'm pretty sure it's magbands.com or something like that, or magbands.net. Oh, okay. And it's just a little rubber band that goes around. It's like the things that people put around yeah, their wrist. Yeah, for the wrist, but yeah. it has the actual But it, it has different calibers, so I've got them for 223, 300 blackout, 308, yeah, 308 762. Yeah. Um, yeah, and and then I can label okay, I all my that. mags. Another another idea is to use a different colored mag that would be unique to 300 okay. Blackout, for example. So like uh, OD Green, okay. only use that. So you just you never use it for anything else. You just literally put tape on it. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. See, and for what I have right now, this is the only platform. Like this, but I do have a couple of box and then a little torus. Okay, so you're so just nothing. you're just getting into the, the to the carbine oh, design. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, I personally, I'm not a fan of AR pistols. Okay. The reason is it's that buffer tube. <laughs> I absolutely hate that. It just it just feels totally awkward to me. Awkward. If I were to make an AR pistol, it would be like a 22. Okay. Because you don't have a buffer tube on there. You can actually the the uh, bolt carrier group is all internal. Okay. Because it's using direct uh, blowback instead of gas impinged. Okay. And, and I know a lot of people, they really do like the uh, the AR pistols. And I think that's because of the, you know, the occasional bump with the hand stock like I got right there. Yeah. The, the, brace. the hand brace. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's just one of those things that I'm not willing See, and that's where, yeah, I don't have much you know, experience I've, in this yeah. this field of things. So yeah, that's... well, you, you're with the right people to at least tell you what, <laughs> what needs here. to be done. Um, that's why he's here. Uh, I, I'm not going to risk my federal firearms license on, on a gimmick. Mm -hmm. You know, just like what we were talking about last week with the uh, the solvent tra the solvent filters. Yes. They corrected me. They're solvent filters, not solvent traps. They're solvent filters. Um we all know what they are. <laughs> They're solvent traps. They're solvent traps. Yes. Um, With only one hole on the end. Yeah. Yes. They, they, they filter well, I think. What? Microphone. Oh, am I too far away? There. Better. It's putting it away from you. It's cardioid. Oh, okay. Sorry. Better. Should be. Okay. Maybe. Keep it close. Okay. Who's Ontario, Canada? It says. Yeah. <laughs> Is that where we? It just no contact. Ah, are we? Oh, he must have joined. Yeah, we're legal in Canadias. Um, what else was I saying? Oh yeah, I I actually broke down and and I ordered. I'm sure that most of us have seen on Facebook the Book of Faces, uh, the Wish. Boy, they they they're just really ram that that Wish sites down your throat. They have fuel filters on there. Yes. Okay, and here's what I don't get: it's a fuel filter that doesn't have an other. It's not open on the other end. No. no. <laughs> eventually it will be. It, eventually it will be. Um, it's also aluminum. I don't know if I really want aluminum. What are what are the shells on the ones that we got? The Our solvent traps, filters. They're steel. It's steel. Uh, the the baffles are titanium. titanium. Um, so somebody, somebody I, asked me about it. And I didn't have yeah, an answer for it. I I'm not exactly sure. I want an aluminum fuel filter. There's something about fuel going through aluminum. Breaking down, yeah. and I'm not exactly sure what off. they're filtering out with that filter. Maybe small pebbles. Sound. If you have small pebbles in your in your gas. Expanding gas. Yeah. Um, if I were going to use unleaded gas in this fuel filter, no. Let me rephrase that. If I were to use leaded fuel <laughs> in this fuel filter, I probably wouldn't go past. 0.22 of an inch of pressure. <laughs> so, as I was saying, I broke down and I ordered one of these things. And I'm actually a little cheesed off about it. I looked at several different ones on there, and I chose this one because it said, shipped from U.S. Well, that never happens. You're on Wish.com, man. Yep. So, I ordered it. It was $11.40. Big, big money there. And uh, it shipped out two weeks after I ordered it, and it's coming from China. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
I didn't want it to come through China. I didn't want it to get stuck in customs or be rejected because we all know what it is. It's not a fuel filter. So <laughs> they probably they probably yep. is it being shipped yep. directly to you or is it being shipped to some other place and then being shipped to you? So it is shipped to the United States. It's mm. it, no, it was supposed to be shipped from the United States. That's where it was supposed to originate from. Um, I actually ordered this for uh, a paper I'm writing for school. And that paper is uh, the ATF regulation of suppressors. I'm not going to call them a silencer because they're not a silencer. They're suppressors. That it needs to be removed from the list. And in addition to that, I was also going to include workaround, legal workarounds of manufacturing your own suppressor. You can go out and you can buy a suppressor for $800 and then pay your $200 tax stamp and then wait 6 to 12 months for that approval to come through. Or you can go to, uh, what is that, Hawk Innovative? Uh, Hawk Innovation, right Hawk, there. That, that the Hawk Innovative, oh, Hawk Innovative Tech, yes. And you can order a solvent trap. Filter. Filter, solvent filter. And then you can go online at the ATF and you fill out Form 1. Form 1 is suppressors. You do it online. And it takes about two to four weeks. You still got to pay $200. There's just no way around that. Not if you want to stay out of federal prison. Is that 200 Is that a yearly or is that a one-time thing? It's a one-time thing. Once you register it, it's 200 bucks, And that's it. Um, another way around that is, and I've been seeing these, it's a ring that is drilled and tapped to half by 28 or 5 eighths by 24. And then it's got a fuel filter threading on it. You register that one ring. That's all you have to register. Then you can put as many oil or fuel filters that you want onto it. Hmm. And it's legal because you registered that one piece. The government, they're not worried about keeping suppressors out of people's hands. They want their money. Right. It's, they just want their tax. And that's all it is. It's a $200 tax. When the, the NFA items, the ATF and all of that, when... They first said, we got we to gotta take fully automatic weapons out of the hands of the public. They found out that they cannot do that. They can't legally remove any of these items from our ownership. We, uh, we can legally own full auto, short barrel rifles, short barrel shotguns, and suppressors. You just have to pay for that, right? <laughs> they can't restrict that, but they can tax it. And then they can make the paperwork a pain in the ass. Now, when it first came out, $200 was a huge, that was a lot of money back then in like, what was it, the 40s or whatever it came out, 30s, something like that. It was, that was, that was months worth of, of your salary right there. Now, $200 is, you know, a couple of hours of work at some places, you know, maybe a day, you know, depending upon where you work. So, it, it hasn't kept pace with, with inflation, which is good because it, it's not supposed to be regulated anyways. And I'm hoping that somebody will actually start fighting and use that, that you are infringing. They can't restrict, but they felt they could infringe. And infringing is, a nut, is actually barred by constitutional law. And, it, and a lot of people will... Argue, they go, well, you just want everybody to have full automatic weapons. No, I don't want everybody to have full automatic weapons. I want every legal U.S. citizen who can legally own a firearm who is not barred by due process as a criminal or mentally incompetent. I want each person who chooses to be able to own the firearm of their choice. And it's not, it, you know, it shouldn't be that hard to... But people, they just simply, it's okay. We can restrict these rights. It's for the safety of everybody. Yeah. You guys have been quiet. I've just been flapping you my little... You, you know what? Rambling. I drank about this much beer. I'm going to shut up now. And you're going to talk. <laughs> um, Share your thoughts. If you have a different time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If we, we can put that spider on. I want the, I want the red one on, though. Um, I did... Empty. 
No live ammunition in the work area. Actually, you guys are going to do that. Oh, I'm going to fuck it up royally. Oh, you are, huh? Yes. Okay. This this just came in. I think it just falls over the top. Yeah. What is that? It's Art. What? I forgot the name. Anak. 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 Yeah. He's got a. He's got to zoom in here. Okay. What this is is hold this here. Okay. Can you even see it? This uh, sticker. Oh, it's actually it's like a. Uh, Sandpaper, and it goes on Backwards. the gun like this, and that's what I'm going to do here. So they are actually custom tailored to each to each side gun that they that they're available yep. for. Yep. The Glock design will obviously be different than Springfield Armory, etc. Yeah, et um, the Springfield the X, they have a couple of the XD models. This is the XDM, and then I have curved uh, serrations. They also have straight. They do have Glock. And I don't remember who else they had, um, but they had a few. And if I remember right, they're like twenty bucks or something like that. And you get two, you get two of them in each in each package. With a handy dandy alcohol cleaning pad. Yeah, with the handy dandy alcohol cleaning pad. And what's nice is you have options. You, um, I went with a red with a black spider. You can get black with a red spider. Um, they had sent us another one there that's black with a U.S. flag on it, which is really nice. Um, and you can actually get your own company logo put on them, too, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to put this on once the alcohol dries. <laughs> Contact. <laughs> alcohol? What alcohol? Okay, so... It's split down the middle, so I don't have to take both sides off, which is really nice. So I'm going to take the one side off here. I've never done this before. So... It's backwards. No, it is not. Lines Careful. Up, lines up. Yeah, I know. It's like this thing, the damn spider's going to bite me or something. Man. Can't cause any more brain damage. Nope, not at all. Can't damage what I ain't got. Come on. Oh, this is like really hard. Isn't that supposed to go like in the grooves? It is. It's in the grooves. Oh. I feel like you still have alcohols there. Yeah, it's not sticking so good. Oh, I got it now. Yeah. I'm going to probably end up redoing this with the other one anyways. I'll, like you say, I'll probably throw the heat gun on it. And... Ah. Should have made, made shot me this on. No, There's an installation video. Not. Yeah, an installation video. We'll link the installation video in the comments below. Yeah. The how-to. Oh, there we go. It actually makes more sense. Sorry, I just no. got to line up the hole <laughs> on the top. And now I can bring the little pieces down here. I feel like that would have been covered on the installation video. Probably. I mean, I just got these today. I mean, there's six steps to the installation. Is there? We didn't, we well, didn't six bullet points. Well, we definitely didn't do all six of those. I think I skipped about eight of them. <laughs> eight out of six? Yeah, eight out of the six. He's been drinking. You, you do know that two out of three people... I'm a fireman. Remove the slide. Huh. <laughs> all right. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oops. It's okay. I inspect it. Me. Yeah, I'll be. I'm just going to be redoing this one tomorrow. But gives you an idea of how not to do it here. Also, no pictures of the leak. It disconnected the, the remote. Oh no! Is it like not working at all now? Yes. Again, this is like the worst. What's not working? Oh, the pictures uh, of the week, the dumbasses like with the wiener folks. Yeah. Oh, I got it on there pretty good. Yeah, I got yeah, it on there. Like yeah, just put these all on the desk. All right, there. Hey, watch the two of them. <laughs> That'd be excessive. Last note for slide and a half. What? Cut off the question. Did I? Oh, yeah. that can be moved. How does it work? Actually, not bad at all. It's definitely easier to grab. You don't have to grab it nearly as tight. Clear it. Yeah. Or you can look at it too. I will, I will move it. I, I should. Does it have real 
purpose? Or I think so. More... I mean, I like, if you get sweaty hands, you're a little wet outside, or I mean, it, except it for makes... shoddy installation, I think it looks yeah. just fine. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey! Yeah, it makes quite a difference. I know that you don't have to grip it. Some people have trouble. Um, you don't have the hand strength to grip it. Uh, to rack a slide, especially that, that's a 10, 10 millimeter, so it's got a little bit of a heavier recoil spring. So it, uh, <coughs> slide it, it just makes it easy. You don't have to grab it as hard. But yeah, I would check out their website. I'm going to find them here real quick. You guys keep talking. I'm trying to find the, uh, oh, no, it's just, it's an odd. Right, but. You grab it with these two fingers. Yeah. You don't cover up the ejection port. But it's ejection. It would be similar to like this here. Um, this this only has an eleven pound spring on it, but it's for speed. And you know, if you grab this, this is slippery. Glock. They do have the Glock ones. They do go in the serrations the same way. So. I know that like like our uh, our studio manager has trouble racking the ten millimeter. He he can rack a Glock without a problem, but he does he he, he has a little trouble with it. Not too bad. Um, I, I, I kind of it's cool. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a, a fairly inexpensive addition. Yeah, it and has, it isn't bad. It has purpose. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it has a purpose. Here it is. Yeah, it sl looks cool. Slide <laughs> spider. There we go. No, we got a question though. Oh. Uh, we got three, and we're a bit of a backlog. You want to read that? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, our Prime Minister is from Ted uh, Valerie. Our Prime Minister has outlawed what he calls assault weapons, and we have lost 1,500 models, firearms, ARs, AKs, Beretta Storm, etc. Yeah, you also lost some websites. And some Facebook groups. Crazy. One Moa says what you guys And a coffee. That's... Black Rifle Coffee. Oh, <laughs> uh, one Moa from Periscope says what you guys are working on. And then Matt's Mechanical ISSI. Hello there. Hope this day finds you all well. It, I'm doing I'm well. well. Super doing good. Doing great. Super good. Okay. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce this site. So I'm just going to. You know what? I don't Machini? have to. I can actually, I'm going to post it. It's going to take me a minute, but I'm going to post it on the, uh, on the, the chat. You guys keep talking. Um, do you want to address the bipod? Yeah, go ahead. It was the primary advantage that they say is because the, uh, the legs appear to be carbon fiber. It's a nice. It's a nice bipod. Yes, it's carbon fiber. That's it's carbon fiber. I'm I'm not. I I don't so, see. So, it's a lot lighter, I would assume. I um, don't know about a lot lighter, but everything else is still metal. It's still metal. It, it, I mean, it it's carbon. not a it's not a flimsy floppy around. No, it's, it's, I wish I remembered who sent it to me now. <laughs> I gotta look that up. Uh, that way. Hang on I'm here. Adjusting. Get a chair. Chair's buried in there. We can get it over there to you. <laughs> you can sit on my lap. No, no, definitely not doing that. I'm not playing that game. <laughs> Here. Oh. Want to sit on the cooler? No, don't want to sit on the no, cooler. No. Sit You'll be, be getting, getting up, up all the time. <laughs> okay. I'm it's still it's looking it's to it's find the, 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 the restream oh, here. Oh. I'm going to see here. It might work here. Boom. Boom. There it is. <laughs> Man, I really got this figured out. <clears throat> I did that from Discord. And it went right on to Restream. Very cool. All right. That is the site that has those spider grips. Now, while you're looking at that, I got to see if I can find the... Uh, I got to find that. I got to find the bipod. That was just the other day. I mean, it seems well made. I yeah. Guess. I mean, like I said, it doesn't seem like a shoddy... Or anything like that. You know, I've seen some pretty flimsy ones that come from China. And uh, I'm not 
unimpressed by it. Oh, here yeah, it is. Carbon fiber. I uh, see here. Down. Oh, down. All right. <laughs> yeah. Keep talking. I'm still bringing up websites here. We're just playing with dude dinghies. Ah, here it is. I mean, the price isn't even half bad. It doesn't have an actual like, flash, or is it just a light? Oops. Nope, just solid on. Okay. As far as I can I didn't know. Oh, strobe. That's what I was like. Um, for. push and hold maybe for strobe? strobe. We should hold for instant on-on. Yeah. I feel like it's instant either way. Oh. No, but I mean, this way it there's stays no, on. There's no strobe. No this strobe. way it stays on, but if you push and yeah. hold it, it's off on. Yeah. You don't have to oh. push it again. Yeah, same as, same as the no, other like, O-Light. Uh, I can't see anything. Yeah. Same as that other O light we were looking at last week. Um, that's the Valkyrie Mini, which I really like a lot. And that's on my carry weapon. Okay, I'm going to put up the website for the, the carbon fiber bipod. So that is on our chat lines. Okay. It's it's going to be it's about the smallest light you're going to find for a handgun, okay. and it's incredibly lightweight. The battery lasts about four hours on there, and it is bright. Is it rechargeable or is it yeah. an actual? Yeah, it's rechargeable. It's rechargeable. It has that magnetic clip. Oh sure, yes. That it's that super cool. Yeah, it literally just magnets to it. Boom. Yep, clips okay. right on. Like some tablets and. Uh, yeah, because the yep. lock levers on the side here for it, then, right? I'm guessing. Yeah, okay. yeah, you can be popped off. Um, what I have is I have a, a stand by my bed on okay. the nightstand that I put my gun on vertically. So when I come and I unholster, I will click and it will pick up the magnet. Okay. And I set it on there. Then if I have to remove it for whatever reason, it pops right off again. Um, really, really slick. The thing is always charges. Because most people, you put on a, a light on your flashlight, which is usually so flipping big. <laughs> and you forget about it. And all of a sudden, you need it for something, and the light goes, ew. Yeah. And does, does this give you any indication when no. it's going to die? Or no. It just goes? I've, never, I've never run it out. It's got okay. a four-hour life right. on the battery, and I've never left it on for four hours. I'd, I don't, if, if you're in a situation where you need your gun light on for four hours, yeah. you walked into the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious because a lot of LED flashlights nowadays don't give you any indication. They're they just, just, they're just off. They they go uh, off, yeah. yeah. They they might dim and then also they just yeah. turn off. Um, but like I said, that if you're four hours in any situation, that you've been there too long. Uh, let's see what else did we want to talk about? Oh yeah, we we talked about the uh, the bipod. I I posted that on bipod links up. Yep, the bipod link is up, and so is the uh, the spider grip. And let's spider. see. What is the other thing that I wanted to bring up here? Spider pig on Homer Simpson. Spider pig. Spider pig. I'm not saying it. Still. Oh, you're going to go somewhere else. I know. No, no, no. Okay. And another thing that just came in today. This wasn't sent in for review. This is actually my school project. Absolutely the coolest, coolest college ever. I get to build guns. <laughs> they sent me a 1911. Uh, I have to finish it. And that will be for my advanced armoring course, which I believe is the last course in my gunsmithing degree. And then I have to keep move. Then I have to go on a little bit more for, uh, to finish my associate's degree for firearms technology. Where am I here? You have too many flipping tabs. Okay, this is the 80% lower. Just posted that. And that is a bag of parts. That is everything needed to finish. So what I heard is you can make me a 2011 now. I can make you a what? You can build me a 2011. Yes, I could. If we can get the frame. Um, what this is, is there. there's a jig. I don't know how many people are familiar with 80% lowers on ARs. They're everywhere. And... They're actually kind of a pain in the ass to finish because you have to drill out the, the trigger group and and yeah. it is you need a, a little bit better drill press or some of the other jigs are not too bad. They use a 
a router. That one's pretty good. Enid has one of those. This one, what you need to do is you have to drill out the uh, the hammer and the sear holes. That's just what? drilled no, through each side. It's not it's clean through. Um, and then you put a jig on it and you cut the slide rails. And that's just... And you just keep going back and forth and it's got a little cutting tooth and it cuts the slide rail out on both sides and then you flip it on another way and you cut out the barrel channel and that's it it's you need a vise yes looks fairly awesome oh that looks awesome okay i need i wish it was bigger um and then i think there's one other thing that i have to do in here and it's really not big a big deal. Then it's just put parts together. Right, but I mean, this is also coming from somebody that's like done this before on many other platforms. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, this is the first time I'm doing a 1911 platform. I've done AR-10s and AR-15s, and I've done you know, I mean, I polymers. Feel like, <laughs> I feel like anybody with any kind of like mechanical aptitude here, like yeah. if we give it to Sean and he had some instruction... It, it actually more than confident yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's actually more easy than you think when you're cutting this the slide rails are probably the hardest part and then you have to you have to kind of work down the cutting tooth until you're just touching and then you mark where that is and then you then you turn it like one point on that dial and you go across it a couple of times and you move another yeah, point it's going down yeah the and you keep pushing that tooth down further until you go I think it's like 1.9 turns. So 1 .9. you know how many. That, so it's too, too many? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's gonna, you don't want it to be too sloppy. And then, then you just simply this. take it and you clean it up. It's not like you need a mill or where you're cutting it's channels. Plumbing, at least. It, it's, it really doesn't take long at all to do. Um, then the only other things, every other part goes together with the exception of just a couple of things like um, the thumb safety and you have to kind of just polish it down a thousandth of an inch or so to get the right feel and that's really about it and that's with the safeties and that sort of thing so it, it's actually really very easy to do and I will be doing some videos on this and uh, I'm gonna see if we can get a couple more frames or something and what see frames? if maybe we can uh, actually have a gun building party. Yeah, have Double a gun stack building nine. party. Double stack nine. I mean, nine. that's the thing Double is you, you guys could all pick up. Um, actually, Double stack nine I need to find place. out because my brother pointed something out. He said that it is not legal for you to use my equipment to make an 80%. I thought I need, it was, but we just had to use I, it ourselves. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was that we had to do the work ourselves. You, you know, you, you could build your own... 80% lower on your drill press. Yeah. Jig. I mean, we haven't gotten to that point. We just never got around to it. But I would like, I'm going to have to make sure when I talk to ATF, I'll find out for sure. Find out exactly That's what it, that'd that be is. That'd be interesting. I yeah. wonder why. Yeah. Um, another loophole, or not loophole, another thing, uh, hurdle to jump over. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. We'll have to find out for sure. Um, I would hate to do something online that. <laughs> Not might legal. not be completely legal. Get yeah. Like helicopters over here. Yeah, yeah, like that. I don't hear enough helicopters flying over this place. Oops. But yeah, that's going to be a cool project. I'll be finishing that up over the next like five weeks. Um, one of the this frame doesn't have it. I wish it did. Um, it doesn't have a weaver rail on the bottom. I wish it did. Uh, but no big deal. Um, I think I might. That's a bead blasted frame. I think I might actually polish it and go the polished look. And because uh, I don't have anything that's polished except for my revolvers, but I don't have a single. Uh, Your head. Yeah, my head. I don't have a single <laughs> semi that semi automatic that's Sorry. polished. Well, there's a machine. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, that, I'm not allowed to go to the bowling alleys anymore. You <laughs> stick your head in one bowling ball polisher. They mistake. They it. yeah, and they and they. They'd say you can't come back. I mean, I wanted to get a head polishing for like a quarter. Um, I, don't even want to, I hope you don't go to golf courses. No, no. <laughs> God, I did. Not, not since that one time. I mean, that hurt like hell. 
So, oh, I'm I'm looking at some new sites. There's a new company that I'm talking to, but I don't remember who they are, so I'm not going to say exactly who they are. They're kind of like a reflex site that attaches to the, the dovetail on a semi-automatic. They also make them for ARs, too. Um, it's like a reflex slight slight reflex i'm gonna get it yet reflex site there we go Probably cut cut in half so it doesn't have the top and then what it does is it Ready? shines Nine like an arrow just it. up to your aim point i'm gonna i'm working on getting one they they said that they've I've got, got to see more of my yeah yeah we need to get that on your gun i need to get a 17 long yep. slide yeah. oh yeah um we were gonna have you take a look at some of these guns that we've all looked at. I know you were handling the, the, the 1911s, both the Rock Island and the Springfield. And then, of course, Seth has to always bring up the shotgun. <laughs> I like the shotgun. It's really nice, but Jesus Christ, I need, you need fingers this long to, to, to do anything. Other than that, it's a very nice shotgun. Yeah, it's a very nice shotgun. It's well made. Light. Yeah, light. lightweight mag, you know, box mag. I, I think like. My, I think my favorite gun on the wall is the uh, six five Creedmoor. The six five Creed. Oh yeah, that thing is Armory. sexy as all hell. Smooth. Yeah, and it 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 doesn't have a lot of recoil on it either. The thing weighs like it's, it's got a new optic. On Eighty it. pounds. It. Yeah. Yes. What happened to I mean, the I digital? No. The digital one is up on top of the FFL safe. Oh. Clear. Yeah. Yeah, that thing, I I love the Archangel stock on that thing. It's not something you run around with. No, no. 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 You're gonna, you're, it does have some mass to it. Yeah, it, it is a heavy gun. It, it is an M1A uh, based on the, you know, the old M1 rifles. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one is actually chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Reach out and which, touch somebody. Which, yeah, so I was going to yeah. say this would touch somebody. Which brings that, that platform out to about a thousand yard range. Uh, that's I'm gonna slide over to Dan. That's out. That's out there. What is this one here? That is, uh, yeah. If you, if, I just got that in the mail today. Oh. I wanted to try that. It's a UTG brand. UTG a reflex site. Reflex site, huh? It was decently priced with very good reviews. UTG. I actually, I don't have any UTGs. I don't either. But sure, that's you get one in your hand right now. Yeah, I do site. now. Yeah. I, why? Thank you. I do have one now. <laughs> I mean, I do want it back. Yeah. But. Oh. <laughs> Okay, uh, what kind of batteries does this take? Does it take those flats? It would. Oh, it is totally fun. Oh, God, that thing is does a blast. It, did it come with a battery? I didn't, I didn't see. I'm thinking it takes those flat batteries. Like the little watch batteries? Yeah, I'm yeah. not 100% sure. Because I'm thinking it goes here or... I just or, cut the box open. Oh, yeah, I just opened oh, this up. Boy. It might be those little itty-bitty... What is that, the 500 Magnum? Magnum. <laughs> Tony still hasn't shot that thing with the... 700 grain yeah. bullets <laughs> yeah it looks like it takes a stack of those little watch type batteries yeah. the flats the cr batteries yeah. or whatever they're called yeah oh, wow. CRM that's, that's got some <laughs> yeah you should see the 700 grain bullets that come out of here <laughs> I, I, uh, yes i'm curious tony go to the wow. middle drawer up there on top huh? and go to the middle drawer Oh, actually, our I, I our, our tech guy's going. It should be on the right side, to it. right up in well, the front. Like, yeah, right side. Just I mean, left side. <laughs> My right side. I mean, used to the revolver. Look, look at yeah, how tiny the batteries are. <laughs> oh, it came with some. Yeah, they well, fell did, out. Did come with batteries? Yeah, oh, okay. they're really tiny. It should are be you right. The the actual expended round. Yes. How long, you, how long can you keep this out there? I don't know. There's there's a lot of mass there. Okay. Yes. This is the this is the bullet that that Tony is afraid to shoot. <laughs> Tis true. That one has been fired into a Kevlar vest. Okay. It stopped yeah. it. It broke it, the four by four behind it. But yeah. It stopped it. So your ribs would be all caved in. Your heart yeah. would stop. <clears throat> it it blew two two by sixes out behind it. And I mean it it. <laughs> it has when mass. I, when I shot it, it's I like was crouched down. Slug. Yeah. I mean, when I was done, I was standing. <clears throat> It, it actually picked me oh, up no, to full sanding. Thumb. How? Oh, just use your thumb. Just, your thumb? You what? I don't have a thumbnail. You don't have like that coke sniffing? Yeah. <laughs> I don't either, but... That coke sniffing there. Yeah. Uh, I still uh, my finger there. Talking about the fingernail. <laughs> the fingernail. 
Well, don't you have a dime or something? I have my ball plates on. You can probably use a sharp edge of the. Uh... Here, I got a bottle cap. I have screwdrivers on the said ball plate tool. The pull tab on your thing. Gerber. I, Gerber? Yeah, I don't have a pull tab, tab on Gerber. Gerber. I love them. You have to like bend it like back and forth. Okay, so make sure you're asking those questions out there so we can answer. Get involved. And for you people on Periscope, click them hearts. Pound out the hearts. Our goal is to reach like 11,000 hearts. No, 180,000 hearts. That's what it is. We need like 111,000 more. So keep those hearts a coming. And ask questions. Tony is still trying to figure this thing out. Uh huh. Don't break anything. I haven't even touched it yet. It might be broken. Well, it, it was broken when I got it. <laughs> What's the, yeah. What's the warranty? <laughs> yeah. Five minutes after you open the package. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No, don't even tell me. It doesn't even get tight. Like don't it just, even it just spins. Yeah. You have to start it. Another gun that that you will probably <laughs> that you would probably enjoy shooting. At least Sean Brady. Yes. Is this puppy right here? I'm very interested in that. Okay. It is chamber flag. I, I really wish I had gotten that in nine millimeter, but what that's chamber then two two three. Okay. This is. Yes. There's a question. Yep. <laughs> I won't be on stream, but I want to know about the handle dead center of the pick, about the attachment latch. How secure is it? Does it back off? Dead what? I believe he's talking about either something on the wall or something on the table. What what was the question? Ask the question here. Uh, I won't be on the stream, but I will. Uh, I want to know about the handle dead center of the pick, about the attachment latch, how secure is it, does it back off? Dead center of the, the pick. Okay. Picture. The picture. Is Creedmoor here? We were just talking about the thing directly above the uh, shotgun. This here? That is not dead, this not, no. Handgun? I believe the handgun. Dead center. So this one right here? I don't know. That's yeah. dead center. I'm like confused. Yeah. Or is it, are we talking about this guy? This? I don't know what it be. This is nothing unique about I mean, I oh, know that's the, 20, the question would be about. That's the 26. I don't know what he's talking about. You're going to have to be more clear, whoever you are. It's specific. It's we, Frank, it might have been from Discord. Oh, hello. I'm going to actually go to Discord here. Um, pew, 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 pew. Where is he? Oh, to, uh, someone for Tony. Yeah. Actually, you can see it on there. Handle. Yep. Froggy needs no master. You dig now, I'm sissy Tony. We want to see you pee your pantalones again. That is just, it was one time, okay? It was just that one time. I got a little excited. Dan brought out the big guns. Damn it. The pick. Dead center. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> but want to know about the handle. Dead center of the pick. Dead center, dead center of the, of the pick. picture. But that might have been an old picture. Right. Or is no, it, I've, I've had the same place. Is it same? Okay. So he must be talking about the blue field. Or the thing that's dead center of the picture. Oh. I don't know. That's, a dead, that's a Glock 26. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to have to be more clear, Rank. No worries, this question. Does it, how does it secure, does it back off? I'm like totally. Totally. Wow, you confused the hell out of us. Oh, he says no worries. Somebody says no worries. I'm just trying to turn it off. Oh, oh, push it again. You're trying yeah. to turn it off. You have to no, push no, no. it hold. Yeah. Well, no. The my my UTG site. Oh. Press it. Press. Because I can get them to switch, but if you push them both okay. together, you have to go probably have to push them both and hold them. Yeah. We have to talk about it sometime. Mm -hmm. So the. Uh, Back to our whole Crypt Keeper. Oh, yeah. The Crypt Keeper. The Wisconsin Crypt Keeper. Tonight at midnight, Herr Evers is unable to, uh, to go any further. Box in box. Which is going to be interesting. Um, they did, I'm just reading right now, uh, WS, WISN 12. Um, he's letting Stanley, he's 
Now he's allowing standalone retail stores to offer in-person shopping for up to five customers. Five customers. Woo fucking who? Five people. Okay, so how is this different from Walmart or Menards? There's, there's no difference. Right. I mean, there could be 200 people in Home Depot or Menards or yeah. Walmart. I you haven't, only have I haven't, five in any other store. I haven't <laughs> noticed much. Well, I mean, obviously, Menards is bigger. Besides the square footage. Yeah. Well, yeah, but are they? I mean, is it bigger than Kohl's? I've, I've or never. Bath and Beyond. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Menards is huge. Yeah. Far bigger. But okay, well, what about yeah. like uh, Meyer? I, Meyer compared yeah. to, to I, home, to. I don't disagree with their philosophy. I, I, well, Meyer's, I, do, I will say that you know, I don't. Necessary. I don't think Evers order is what's hanging up the state right now. It's the DHS order. Mm-hmm. Which, um, I think Evers' order should, if he if it's sixty days since he he signed it, it should end at sixty days. That's all. Yeah, the that's statute and that's to. tonight at midnight. Um, but if you look at the, the Division of Health, they've got different authority by statute, and I I personally think the statute's overly broad, mm-hmm. and that the Supreme should find it. But there's still a legal process that should be followed. To and achieve the those goals, is, the way it's written, yeah. there's none. Yeah, I'm I'm not against public safety. I'm not against it. Right. No, none of us are. I agree. But I, I, I but agree. I am against breaking the law in the process of doing it, and that's my biggest problem. In my reading of the statute that DHS is enf- enforcing, I don't think it's breaking the law. I think the law is poorly written, giving DHS too much authority. I mean, they they have an insurmountable amount of power. Yeah, right. Like and judge, and jury and executioner. Yeah. Um, and and laws are supposed to limit that power. So my guess is, the Supremes are going to find the law over the broad. Yeah. One of my big questions and, about this are, like, it's just I'm reading it, and you could you could tell me if I'm wrong, Seth, because you have a little bit more. Uh, well, just, I have opinion. I don't know. Ex- that. Well, you've got more experience in. in you got a little that. well with law enforcement. So he's got a bit. How. How does a non-legislative branch of office make and enforce a law or rule, whatever we want to call it, and also make that punishable by jail time or a fine? Legally, they can't. You'd have to research it. There's enough. There's um, health and human services. They can go and enforce health code violations in kitchens. Mm-hmm. Correct. Um, but not my kitchen. There's statutory language, I'm guessing, that gives them a... Th- you can be given authority under one statute, but then the authority to enforce that is tied to another statute. So mm-hmm. you can hop all over the, the statute book to try and find out where they get this. Um, the only... I question whether... The only reason I, I, I'm fairly certain that it's not she's not abusing her authority is there's 45 other states that are doing a similar thing. Mm-hmm. Well, so remember, f- each state has their own constitution. Right. Um, so they not, and each state's constitution has to operate within the federal constitution. And I think we should reopen up. I'm not yeah. for this. Yeah, I, um, I, I agree. We need to open up, and it should be at our discretion and the owner of the store's discretion. They shouldn't be arresting... Um, who got arrested? Oh, the dog groomer. The dog groomer got arrested up in Appleton. Um, I think it was Appleton or somewhere Wisconsin, Menasha yeah. up there somewhere. Northern Northern Wisconsin. Yeah, up around Green Bay, Appleton in that area. But she got arrested because she opened up her dog grooming place. She's grooming a dog. I agree. How is this a problem? And I think it was her and her daughter were the ones that were there. And then two cops come in. Basically doubling the number of people that were there, and and they had gloves and masks on, but the officers didn't. And they arrested her. I, I think that the once this is all over, that statute needs to be rewritten, and has some checks and balances on the authority of the health division of health and. Yeah. Which, uh, I, I mean, services. yeah, I understand it. Like I keep saying, I understand that things need. For public safety, but them, but those limitations they need to fall within law. Right, but I, I think DHS is operated within the law as it's written. I think the law is poorly written and overly broad. So who is who's in charge of enforcing said law? Whoop, what do we got? North Dakota. Or what? I don't know. I, 
of private businesses. North Dakota Gubernator oh, uh, Goober, Goober. is Goober. likely to be sued over his executive orders as he does not have the authority to make such decrees in contradiction to the state constitution, i.e. the closures of private businesses. See, I think right there, this is the, the problem that I see it, okay? A governor cannot dictate an executive action that is punishable by fine or jail. Laws, laws do that. You so, cannot take an executive order and say it's law. Law has to go through the proper channels. It has to be voted on. It can't. There, there's the. Why can't I think of what it's called? Uh, it, after tonight, the, it's the not limitations gonna be of the powers. Governor, it's going to be DHS. That yes, is, is doing it. Yeah. Um, but even if Governor Evers or any other governor for that matter said, stay at home, be safe, that's all he can do is strongly suggest it. He cannot dictate a punishment or a fine or jail time because he doesn't have those powers. That has to go through the, what is that, the judicial process. Uh, and just because you know, everyone here knows I like to argue, is yeah. how, how do you explain governors or mayors being able to put curfews in cities that were hit by tornadoes where you can't be out after 10 o'clock at night. During Hurricane Katrina, they did it. If, and they didn't if, create if a it, law if that it's, time. If it's, worded, <coughs> if it's worded that way... And I yeah. think that's the way the DHS law or statute yeah. is written, giving them authority. I think it's given them too much authority, though. I agree. It's too much authority. It's a, There's no checks and balances when one person can say, you know what, if you open up your dog grooming place... I'm going to throw you in jail, and you're going to lose your business. There's, there's, there, there's no way the legislature or any other body can file an appeal with DHS and say, we do not think this health crisis is as severe as you say it is, and it should be changed. And that's what I don't like about the statute. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't give anybody, a, a, a any business, an, an opportunity to say, hey, wait a minute, I disagree with this. Yeah. And that, that's yeah. what I think and, the Supreme should find it. And another problem that I have is, essential businesses if if my business if i if i have every cent that i own in a restaurant it's essential to you yeah it's essential to me you're a chef you know that most restaurants are right here on staying open and going out of business though most of them are here about here or home. even further yeah because they're like one bad day from losing everything now you've got four or five, six weeks that these restaurants are uh, married, buried up uh, by Bakersville, which is up near um, Marshfield. I can say you're, you're on a roll today. I'm on a roll today. Oh, yesterday I got lost and stuff. We were having connection issue, connection issue. They just reconnected. What did? You talk about Dan's the brain computer. or the computer? Oh, oh. The feed. Mm -hmm. um, so we were supposed to go up there this month for his funeral. Well, that got put off. Now it's in June. It's like, how Maybe. much further are we going to push his funeral back? Right. You know, this is a family that would like to move on. What I what angers me the most, I get a little bit of control over businesses, but it tells somebody you can't have people in your backyard. Yeah, or in your house. Right. I, I mean, we're we're at we're fifty percent maximum capacity in here right now. We get a few more people in here, and then we would be illegal. In in a private home. Which two other things that I wanted to quick hit on. Did you see the, the story from Channel Three Thousand out of Madison? Where they said I think it was like sixty five people tested positive for COVID nineteen after attending large rally? Did you see that? I'm sorry. Channel uh, I think it's Channel Three Thousand out of Madison. They have a story just the other day. It was like 65 people tested positive for COVID-19 after attending a large outdoor rally. They showed a picture of the Wisconsin rally a couple of weeks ago on Friday. So they're making it sound like that's the rally that, oh. okay? Because I'm seeing the, the, the useful idiots on Facebook all cheering that 
Them fucking two A guys are all sick. Good. I hope they fucking die. So, and then I, I looked at the article, and the article actually says they have no idea which events these people attended. All they did is ask, were you at a large event? Yes. Could have been a broad fry. Could have been a broad fry. Could have been Brats. going over to a, a wedding or or funeral or anything because and they said because the state doesn't monitor where we are so they're said our, our cast is down is it did we not reconnect there bud it says that it reconnected i'm hearing it in the live stream oh. oh oh we must be back up again Maybe it's yeah she said she lost it all together oh they're probably gonna have to reconnect to it then I don't know. Something happened with the computer. It lost uh, lost the internet connection or something momentarily. I'm noticing I'm cutting out an audio on the, this computer, the laptop. Oh? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's being weird. I have a feeling it's that router. Yeah. I had to change the routers. I'm going to have to get a better router. Or see if I can get that other one to work again. Yeah, more money burning. Yeah, Wi-Fi went out on the other router. And that's the fast one. So I'm on the backup one. Um, so basically, they're just they're they're just luring people in with the t with the headline, getting people wound up, and right. that's it. Trying to see how far yeah. out, how far behind yeah. they are. Maybe. Yeah. Did you see what they're doing in um, Washington State? And I think this is with that HR sixty six sixty six. Yeah, that really is the number HR six 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 six. I, I looked it up. Holy hell. <laughs> if you want to see some scary crap, look up H Bill HR 6666. It's, it's some scary shit. They want to basically monitor us 24-7. Know where we are. Yeah. <laughs> Pass. 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 Okay Hard no. Exactly. <laughs> Yep, but they're they're driving this through because everybody's scared. What the hell? Right. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, let's well, hopefully it, that nothing bad happens. So, um, anything else? I know I've just been kind of dominating no, this I whole think conversation. It's, uh, the whole. I'm just read it. Just oh, no, no, I lost it. The whole uh, thing on the. The closures of the allowing things to open, you know, like, okay, cool, now we can open these little, you know, a couple small shops at, like, a capacity of five. We've been live for an hour now, by the way. Oh. And then, you know, a few interruptions of the right. connection. But we can't, We still can't, you know, um, floral shops are still are still non-essential, can't be open. Yeah. Um, barber shops or, like, manicurists or pedicurists. Have or you noticed... Say how really nice the hair is on politicians <laughs> have am i the only one that's noticed that they have got some really nice hair i can't be the only one mm -hmm. i don't even pay attention to that. Uh, yeah, I, don't. I think <laughs> i think there were do i look like i pay attention to anybody with hair yeah. <laughs> i feel like there was a a couple different um enforcement offices that got a uh, shit quick without a paddle I'm out of coffee. Um, because they... Uh, I'm out of road coffee. Ooh, it is coffee, too. They uh, they were having their department... They had uh, a barber come in and do the department's hair. So another they another crock of shit. Because they are mightier than we, yeah. I guess. I mean... Right. You want some scotch? I'm good, no. <laughs> I'm good with my, uh, my first light beverage. I'm back on my diet. Getting fat again. <laughs> Me, too. Fat in the head. Embracing it. Embrace the fat. Yeah. I mean, I haven't had a haircut since this started. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Me either. I'm I'm putting it, you know, I'm I'm trying I'm trying taking hard. it for the team. <laughs> <laughs> trying hard. I'm trying hard, baby. Uh, looks like we did actually reset the stream at fifty almost fifty five minutes. So we're going again. So there is what if your stream runs if they're hearing this, if your stream runs out. yeah. If they're hearing this, they already know. <laughs> but the computer hasn't crashed. Is that another question mm -hmm. on there? Um, have you, you directly? 
already discussed. Already discussed the Georgia, the Georgia jogger thing. Oh, the Georgia jogger thing. He the 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 African American who was shot. Oh, yes, that was. Um, I haven't really looked into it a lot, but I have been seeing reports of he's on video breaking into houses. Construction no. sites. Or yes. Everything oh, construction I've, sites. Yes. That that's it. Everything I've read, just what I've read. I'm not saying it's true. Is that he 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 had stopped at a house under construction. Didn't do anything illegal. Didn't try and steal anything. Didn't try and go anywhere. Or go into the property. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was like shortly before he got shot. Then he continued his jogging. Um, Even if. He had broken in there and stolen something. It doesn't justify shooting him while he's leaving. No, I mean, this, there's no legal justification. Um, for the that. father of the father and son duo was had previous law enforcement, and I, I don't know what the hell he was thinking. thinking Not a very could. good law enforcement um, officer, he had was he? For the invest, the, the DA's office or whatever they call it down there. Well, that explains um, a few things. <laughs> it, they charged him with felony murder, which not a homicide, not a. A murder, but it, a first well, or for, not murder. first or second degree is probably manslaughter. Um, um, well, it's a, a, a homicide that's committed during the course of the commission of a felony. Okay. Um, which is a lot easier to prove. That, that's weird. Mm-hmm. What's the question there? In sir? California and Oregon, they have gone loco with the mandated testing. Oregon will take your children from you if you test positive. That and was it, one of them. Yeah. And in California, if you're on welfare, you'll be required to submit to be tested. That was one of the things I heard of in, I believe it's Washington that. State, that they can come into your house, forcibly test you, and forcibly remove I people. I want to fact check that. I would like wrong. to fact check it too. I'm not saying that it's right. It's just what I heard. Right. And if it's on the internet, it's got to be true. You can't put anything on the internet if it isn't true. Back up. I, that, that gentleman in Georgia, I... I think it was an atrocity from what everything I've read. The, Granted, the one that was shot? Right. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. Given incorrect facts, or not yeah. given, but reading incorrect. No, no matter what led up to the shooting, I, in my mind, cannot <clears throat> come up with a single justifiable reason to shoot somebody. No. He was Unless he was charging them with a jackhammer that he just stole from... A construction site that still was hooked up to the compressor and running. What is his battery power? It could be one of those battery powers. pretty heavy. Yeah. And it's an M18. Then, the then maybe you could shoot him while he's coming at you after, you know, you said, drop the jackhammer. There's something you probably never heard. Yeah. <laughs> so at that point, you'd be in fear for your life. Yeah. Um, but if he stole a, a claw hammer and a Phillips screwdriver and a box of nails, um, and he was... Fleeing, that's, that's not justifiable cause to take a person's life. You could have, you could have stopped the person. From you my know. understanding is they tried to stop him and he didn't cooperate. But that's the they still don't have a legal, yeah. they don't have no. legal justification. As as a citizen, you don't it's have a legal, place, justifi- yeah. legal to right to stop. You can stop them, but you can't keep them. You right. can't detain them. And, if they, and this is what it sounds like. It sounds like they confronted him with firearms drawn and pointed at him. Yep. Well, that's, a lot of people might react negatively. That's too that. high. That's too high. Have you been able to find anything on yep. that? Yep. So California DSS, so um, Department of Social Services, um, has issued a warning um, to all residents of a fake letter that's currently circulating social media. Claiming Good. that recipients um, of the state's governmental assistance program, including MedCal and CalFresh, um, will lose their benefits if they do not submit to mandatory testing. Okay, so it's false. Well, what about the testing positive? Can they remove them? That? that was the other. Was that might Oregon take some Washington. more reading. That yeah. was, I think, that was Washington State or Oregon. Okay, okay so I, I'm glad we were able to clear that up. Um, and I know that that rumors run rife on the internet, especially during these times. Oh my God! And right. Facebook is the worst. I'm on a lot of different social media platforms, and Facebook is the worst. Because it's copy and paste. It's yeah, it's just right. copy and paste. Twitter, you're very limited so, to what you can post. You have 240 characters. It's very small. So or back, you can post an article. Back to the rest of that. Um, yep. The State Department and County Human Services Departments um, will never ask questions about your health status. 
um, in connection to an application for any benefits. Mm -hmm. um, similarly, children must be subject to abuse or neglect to enter foster care. Children cannot be put into foster care just because of a parent's becoming ill. Good. We've cleared that up. So, no, they won't take your kids and... What was the other state that we wanted to look up? Oregon or, Oregon or Washington? Washington. Were the two that were on there. Was it shot time? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just like clearing up these rumors. I mean, I, I hate spreading rumors. Oh, we're, we're here to hopefully yeah. discuss things. We're, we can have the... we're not so biased Absolutely. that that we're going to continue to spread a false rumor. Uh, that's just bad journalism. I mean, I'm not a journalist anymore. I let my, my accreditation lapse. That was 2017. I, I finally said enough was enough. Um, and and it's bad It's bad journalism that pushes this stuff. Yes? Uh, Froggy just posted a link to the story on Facebook. I can't get to it because there's no Facebook on here. Oh. It's in the Discord if you want to check it okay, out. Okay, I will check it out. Thank you. Let's see, where is that well, one the, here? The problem with perpetuating Oops, false there. stories is it whips people into a frenzy that, especially at times like this, don't need to, doesn't need to be whipped up anymore. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, it's it's bad enough. We're all here adult enough that if, even if, if it's true and we disagree with it, it's still true, or you know, vice versa. Um, um, that link is broken. Sorry to interrupt. Froggy. That link is broken, Froggy. Which Your link's you broke. Which probably means it was disconnected because it was... Fake news? Fake news. Or because Zuckerberg didn't like it. Yeah. There's other alternative reasons. I know. I, I, just, I think it's funny that, that they're trying to do so much to censor it. Um, I actually did hear, smack, that <laughs> Facebook is going to start notifying you if you reacted in any way to something that was moved because they deemed it to be false or fake or fictional or whatever. If you're if you're getting your news and information from Facebook, I do. You're on the wrong news. Story. You're on the wrong. <laughs> yep. Damn that's like internet. That's watching the uh, the late night. That's like watching uh, Rosie Comedy o Central. Rosie O'Donnell for yeah. news. Or or the what is that one that was on Comedy Channel? The the news. Oh, like Saturday Night Live news or why can't I think of that now? The yeah, Froggy, that link doesn't work. We just tried it. Yeah, two, I two just computers. tried it. Didn't didn't bring up. The Oregon State Notice. <clears throat> Oregon State Notice. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't load for any of us. Let's we'll see if we'll see. if you can get it on an actual like um like Google. website, we'll we'll pull it up. Yeah, bring it bring up the actual website, not the and post. Not the Facebook because like, it, post because it. you know what it might be if it's on somebody's page that is private, private, which is most Facebook pages. <clears throat> Most people don't post things public. What was the claim? The state of Oregon is what? Pure Romance. TMZ. It was on TMZ. Isn't that like a I don't know TV channel? It what? is. It's uh, like a pop culture. Turner <laughs> Movie uh, no, Zoom? TMZ. I don't know. <laughs> TMZ is like more of a pop culture. What was the claim about the state of Oregon? I was going to do a Google search. I, I believe it. Originated because there was a tax break or something with movies. It was something about a particular zone where you don't have to pay them as much. The movie zone? That no. might that could be it. No. Oh. I don't know. Um, but they're specifically for like uh, independent. No. No. They're, they're super gossip. And like they're, they're like always... lions. TM TMZ is. Huh? TMZ. Yeah. TMZ. It's all about like uh, celebrities and stuff. Yeah. Oh. It's a pop culture. Oh, so uh, no. nothing is. It's not worth looking at. No. The Colbert Report. That was it. The, on, on Comedy Central. It's like getting no. your news from there. Yeah. I've yeah. That's real. It. You never seen it? No. It's on it's Comedy terrible. Channel. I don't. I don't. I don't watch <laughs> TV. It, yeah. Like you ever watch? Very... You ever watch Saturday Night Live when they did no. their weekend update? It's like that, but with one guy. That means that I have to watch TV on a Saturday. Yeah, and they don't say, Jane, you <laughs> ignorant bitch. Can they say that? Yeah, you can. Oh, because he just, he just said it. I just did. <laughs> he just did. Yeah. You, you had that something, bud? I got my news from The Onion. Oh, oh. me too. Oh, yes. Babylon B for me. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, I'm not 
sure if this is what it means, but it's the uh, 30-mile zone. 30-mile zone? Yeah, it's a 30-mile radius around a certain area. Oh. Oh, okay. He po- um, yeah, it's over there behind you, them, too. Shut it down. Bribe, you need no master. That's uh, quite the <laughs> Okay. Um, Are you still in my desk yet, Ben? Okay. Action request. Yeah, it's gone now. Transmittal Office of Child Welfare Programs. <laughs> okay, this this is what was this is the picture that was sent to me here. It says effective 4-22-2020, If in the course of the assessment of a caseworker or supervisor makes the determination that a child will enter substitute care because their caregiver is infected with COVID-19, the caseworker or supervisor will need to select a newly created case note value for tracking these specific entries. I'm going to probably lean on this as crap. Fictitious. Yeah. yeah. It to, to specifically say COVID-19 would lead me to believe that it's fake. If it had said infected with a dangerous disease I don't even know that tra- I would... easily transmitted disease or something like that I would have probably mm-hmm. leaned more towards yeah I could maybe and see even that if it is accurate it seems like it reads to me without I don't know if there's a whole article where Based was this supposedly um Oregon Department of Human Services I think based on what it's saying is if a child's removed from the home because of, maybe the parents need to be quarantined uh huh is that they need to create a separate I know tracking number is going to sound ominous and super and weird but maybe it's to document the child's movement so if they need to find out who else that child's had contact with that yeah I, I don't know I'm I'm really up in the air I'm gonna probably lean towards this is you know more Facebook news <clears throat> you know, it sounds possibly legitimate to me but it's not nefarious. it doesn't sound nefarious and black helicopter stuff to no me. Um, I mean, I can see the point if a caregiver is taken, is is very, very ill and is taken to the hospital, what do you do with the kids? If you're taking a child out of the home, you need <laughs> to have documentation while you're taking a child out of the home. Yes. And a paper trail. Yes. You can't just simply go into the house and drag them out kicking and screaming. Right. Um, I, think, I think there's something, I'm going to lean towards this isn't real. It might be. I've been proven wrong. Once or twice in my life. I don't think I'm worried about it. <laughs> don't don't encourage me. Yeah, I, I think that's what <laughs> I that's can't what Seth is saying. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm on their page. Yeah. We're we've got our fact checking team on it right now. You know what? We're gonna have. To, God, when did we become Facebook fact checkers? <laughs> oh, I, I Facebook almost. I fact check almost everything on Facebook. Yep. Ninety five point nine percent of it is made up. Yep. Everything that I look at, every article that I look at, but people are like, oh, my God, look at this. The first thing that I look at is the date. And I do yes. independent, independent. When was it reported? Research it independently. <clears throat> yes. Then <clears throat> I will look at it. Drink a beer while looking and, up additional yeah, facts and about this. And look for citations. If, you know, are they, do they have back, do they have documentation to back up what it is that they're claiming? There's wonderful search engines out there that you yep. can go and read it your own and read yep. it yourself and rather than somebody else's interpretation of what it said or doesn't say. Yep. I mean, I people accuse me, I don't know about you guys, you know, where, where you're accused of, but I'm accused a lot of being very, very far right. I'm not. I don't think so. I'm a little bit left of I'm a little left, oh my God. A little bit right yeah. of center. I'm, a, I'm an independent. I have not always voted for Republicans through my life. But I've never voted for a Democrat. But I've voted for several independents. Um, when I look at articles, I'm very wary about where those articles are coming from. I've seen people post up all pissed off, and it's the onion. <laughs> Unfortunately, my wife did that once, and I corrected her. Yes? Ken's back. Who's back? Ken. Ken. Hi, Ken. Who's Ken? <laughs> oh, hi, Ken. Ken's I'm, confused, apparently. He's I don't know. Gentleman. Hi, gentlemen. I don't know who Ken is. Hi, Ken. We missed you. <laughs> huh. Huh. They Weird. killed Kenny. Well, they, they, this um, is Ken, not Kenny. Yeah. 
But what I are at the hour and a half point though. We should wrap her up. Well, I mean, if we have things to talk about, if you guys have to go, you have some place to be. Eight minutes. That'll be our new record. Um, you you know a lot of people. You know, I used to work at Bristol Renaissance Fair. There's a lot of left. Holy holy hell, are there a lot of lefties at the Renaissance Fair? Oh, boy. And these are people who will tell you that they are highly educated, well-traveled, and know what they're talking about. If you need to say all that, there's a problem. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) I have never felt the need to point out my levels of education or point out the lack of education (laughs) of another person. But I am accused of being uneducated, Nazi, racist, well. Yeah, my wife is Korean. Yeah, I'm a racist. I've <laughs> <laughs> been together for 35 years. I'm a homophobe. My oldest is trans. You would think if I was a homophobe, I'd be having problems. If I was a homophobe racist, I'd be really having problems. What if you're a homophobe Nazi? Um, this shit's like wormhole. Uh, zombie. A zombie? Well... That one is like nine foot tall and redhead. <laughs> you know. no, to me, when somebody disagrees with you, which is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing. The wrong easiest with it. way for them to discount your opinion is to say there's something wrong with you, or there's a reason why you you can't yeah. be believed. Yeah. Because you're this, you're that, this other. If, if you're rather than having a, a reasonable a personal discussion about attack, it, personal attacks don't disprove. They disprove an opinion. nothing, right? Yeah. Yes. So. Ken says, I've heard that a 50 cal rifle is bad for kills and kills under 50 yards. If, <laughs> if you're looking for body recovery, yeah. If, if you're looking for some, <laughs> any meat left over to eat, probably, yeah. but I. <laughs> it's true, and if so, why? Also, Gotti says. Hi, hey, Gotti. Oh, Gotti man. didn't make if, it this If week. Gotti says it's got to be gospel. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um,. If you get shot with a 50, I don't care if it's 50 yards or 500 yards. <laughs> You're going to have a really, really bad day. It's It's going to be pretty much the same results. Yeah, right here. Disintegration. Right You're here. not going to feel any pain. You ain't going to feel it. Hurt. You're just going to simply cease to exist. This is what it shoots. I mean, not necessarily that. Not this one. This is a bottle opener. But this, <laughs> is, this, is, this is made out of a 50 cal. So yeah, it that's gonna it's gonna that's a bad 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 day. So what's Gotti got to say? You are not a Nazi. I, I think, think I, I know. know. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Hey, <laughs> should we tell him why, Gotti? <laughs> <laughs> Could it be because you lived in Israel? Israel. <laughs> if you were, I would know. That, that was good. Yeah. That was real good. Gotti, that's exactly. the funniest thing you've said yeah. in well, since I met you. Gotti, Gotti yeah. is. Probably one of the best people that we have on a fairly regular basis on this show. Ugh. He is he is a great guy. You can find him online. I think it's GottyEdelman.com. You can find him on Twitter, too. Uh, he is very knowledgeable. The guy is a, a, a counterterrorism uh, expert and advisor. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got to clean all this shit up tomorrow. Here, here, you want to put this over? I got one. <laughs> and a shot. And none. Yeah. Zero. Are you on that liquid-ass diet shit again? Strictly water. No well, calories. that's what that Coors Light is. Uh, it pretty much is. Yeah, it's, it's, cold, no calories, it's, no it's carbs. cold water with a tea bag dipped in it. <laughs> zero, zero caloric intake for 72 hours. No chloride. Oh, my God. Can't oh. you do that on, like, a Tuesday or something? Yes. <laughs> also, you know how you said... Uh, Gotti yeah, in Israel. Yeah. I believe he, I just looked his profile picture. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. So after stream, uh, Froggy sent two screenshots of some documents. Okay. Uh, I can't fact check them right now. So okay. He says your check's in the mail. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey, by the way, did you get it, Gotti? Did, did you, you get it? mail him the shirts? I didn't. Raise your voice. My phone's yeah, right there. I didn't. I was turning away. I didn't mail it. My wife did. I'm grounded, remember? That's right. I can go to the bathroom, the kitchen, and the gun range. The gun range. The outdoor gun range. 
So we have to get there. Like it's it's actually getting nice out this week. Is this when this is weekend. supposed to be seventy? Seventy this on weekend. Friday. Yeah, Friday? this weekend. This weekend. Friday yeah. night. Yeah. Friday evening. Friday evening. Friday oh, evening. Friday evening then at the range. Back to undisclosed the location. She walking through a bonfire. Yeah, we no, will be at the. That, se- no, we didn't get it. The secret tactical reviews. Uh, la- lab marshmallow <laughs> roasting oh, he facility. Asked, he yes. asked when they were sent. Oh, um, he didn't send them. Saturday, I believe. His better half sent them. Saturday, Friday or Saturday? Also, uh, three of them saw things we call shorts. We're about an hour, hour and a half. That's fine. Sort of cut it short. Hour Unless hour. you guys need to be somewhere, I I'm fine with going. I got this. You when know you what? To Gotti, did you have to do inmate number or? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I want to do is uh, November elections. I want to do a live <laughs> watching the lefty meltdown. That'll be interesting. I'm game for that. Oh yeah, I we will have, have to, to be kind of, of quiet beers. because the you know sleeping above the studio. We can do it at my place. Boy, you that's a lot of lot of equipment to move. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna do a feed. <laughs> yeah, we not we have to do a feed. That's the thing. Oh, it'd be fun. It would. I would love it because we can go on all like CNN and MSNBC and Fox and have no, no, all this, no, all the feeds going, and just you know, <coughs> well, just look what happened last in '16 when Pennsylvania switched. Oh, I was laying. We, under, I was laying underneath my Jeep. Yeah, when that all happened. we were all we were all online <laughs> transfer case. yelling at each other. It was great. <laughs> okay. Any other questions here, bud? No, Nothing. Uh, Nothing. What were we talking about before Gotti so rudely interrupted us? The fifty cal. Uh, oh, right. the the fifty, 50 cal yards. head popper. It kind of turns you into a Pez dispenser. <laughs> oh, what's that? Do any of you agree with Sean Hannity that Michigan protesters showing up with the rifles? With the rifles? No, no, I don't. I don't believe that it's overkill at all. I think the media is blowing it out of a, out of proportion. You know, all these people showed up with carrying guns, assault rifles, mind you. How many people were assaulted? And how many people were shot? How many bullets went off? I didn't hear of any. There must have been thousands and thousands of bullets there. I think I think if you have bullet the ability, things, the pew ability pews. to legally carry a firearm, like I don't feel like it's a bad thing that you choose to or not to carry it anywhere that it's legal to do so. I, I, mean, ca- I carry a firearm with me everywhere I go. If I'm there, it's not a gun-free zone, with very, very few exceptions. Hospitals, doctor's appointments, and courthouses. Police departments. Airports. And schools. I don't go to schools, so my kids are all out of schools. And I don't go to airports. <coughs> do they let you fly after Yeah, you're on a do-not-fly list? list. I am probably on a master list. <laughs> it's like, nope. You're on a master list. Uh, yeah. all, there, there's a, your own satellite parked over, by the way. I is... have a geostationary satellite. says it's Mr. Tactical Satellite on the side. Yeah. It's shaped like an AK-47. And there's a red button. And you know, and you know why way. it's shaped like an AK-47? Because I don't have any AK-47s. Because you don't like them. I'm not a big fan of them. I mean, there's kind of one. I, don't get me wrong. I don't want to start the hate 47. mail here. I don't want to start the hate mail here. The AK-47 is a super stable platform. I do, I, I do want one based on an AR. I would, I would like an AR-AK hybrid. I just don't like the, the shaft. How they look. I like I, the noise I, of it when you're in front of it. Yeah, I, I had in my hand. I had a, um, what was that? The Vepper. Yeah. No. Yeah, it was way enough. A Sega. I had a Sega 12 in my hand. I was going to buy it. I had the cash. It was on the counter, and I'm holding it, and it's it's based on an AR, uh, an AK platform, and I'm just like, I just, it it felt nice, but I just didn't like the appearance. I'm just not a big fan of the appearance of AKs. I wouldn't turn down an AK. It says, will Dan be making any more walking sticks anytime soon? Oh. Before that, I oh was there something before that? I didn't catch that. Oh yeah, the problem is we only have one line on the stream. That's as all much, we could see. As much time as you spend in the hospital, that's a lot of no carry. That's pissing me off because that's supposed to be our our chat line up there. Yes, all the damn time I spend in the hospital, I, it's a lot of no carry. I know it's a lot of no carry. I've actually gone a couple of months without picking up my gun once. 
because there I was, unable to walk. <laughs> <laughs> I might. I might. If people want them, I will make them to order. How's that? Yeah, I'm not sure why that's not updating. Don't worry about it, though. <laughs> yeah. We should, next time we should do a guest appearance of Hillary Clinton at the King of the Skulls. Hillary Clinton? You know what? I actually have a Hillary Clinton mask. Uh, I don't want to know why. It's a rubber mask. Don't want to know why. That's it's not, it's here. I'm going to tell you why. You are going to tell me I why. had a picture. I did a video. Well, this was a hard video to do, too. I, I green screened my bed. Then I laid in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> then I laid in the bed. Can I have dressed, a shot of whiskey? <laughs> dressed as Hillary Clinton. And I was talking. And then I started coughing. And I... Pulled a rubber hose out of my mouth and threw it on the ground and said, oh, that's disgusting. And I actually then put a you hospital room. because of this? I put a hospital room behind me. I replaced that <laughs> coma, coma screen, the, the green screen with a hospital room. It actually turned out pretty good. But then, of course, YouTube deleted me. Apparently, they didn't like me picking on Hillary. You know what? Our AV guy just walked out of the room. And how much you want to bet? He's over in the storage area Fetching looking, Hillary mask. looking for Hillary Clinton. Well, until we get the mask, we could that the skuller could be a Hillary. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, that's a bear. Come on. That's a bear. A bear. Yeah, that would be like Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin was a bear, wasn't oh. she? I miss her. She pissed a lot of level, level le lefties off. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm Sean. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, Sean. <laughs> Uh, well, hopefully you can come back more. Sean. I would love that. That would be great. You're more than welcome. Couldn't find her. Uh, she's probably back yeah, further. Be better, uh... I think she's behind all of the gun cases. Yeah. Got be better, might be better off for right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Limiting them to once a month. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, no. The, the no Hillary mask right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'd probably shoot her. There's no ammunition in the building. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. There's no ammunition. In the studio, flocked in dun, the dun, dun. No live ammunition. We are very so good if, with that. So if anybody ever wanted to like come in and get us all at once, they could just do it over here in the studio. Well, uh, they've we got are, to go we through. We are defenseless down here. Uh, we, we, we absolutely we, defenseless. We, we could bludge them, but we got enough weapons. We could club them to death. We don't even have a. There's not even a sword. The sword's way the hell over there. We have There's a cannon. Clubs behind us. We have a cannon. With no ammunition. That's true. But they have to go through four doors. To get here. And they have to know which four doors to go through. And you can't tell me that in 15 seconds we can't be in that vault. <laughs> and have every one of these loaded. Well, almost every one. Not the muzzle loaders. I mean, before they get up to the attic? Yeah, we'd probably be okay. Yeah. Boy, that would be a bad day for somebody. Well, they'd have to find the trap door in the back there. I can't see that. Yeah. yeah. No, no. <laughs> no so over I was going to say, I think we're like done. Yeah. yeah. They're loaded. Dunzo. We should, we should we should wrap this. The what's dead? Somebody, Gotti says, please no Hillary mask. I can't. Thank yeah. you, Gotti. Can't we'll have it for you that. next week, Gotti. Yeah, we'll have it for you next That's week. That's scary to hear. <laughs> the Gotti's the voice of sanity. Yeah. yeah. Redone, <laughs> that makes me a little bit nervous. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna finish up because we're just talking dumb and stupid right. now. All right, boys and girls. Anything else you need to add, there, Mister Studio Manager? No. Well, it sounds like we'll see you all next week. Yep. Same Sweet. time, relatively same place. Yeah, we're usually in the the six to six fifteen Central Time ish. Yeah, in that area. If uh, we do, if we do go queuing this weekend, there will be videos. Correct. We will share them. We're, we're going to gonna make Sean shoot the fifty BMG. Yes. Oh, cool. you haven't even too. shot the fifty BMG. I yet. like the Barrett Big better than this one. You haven't even shot this one. I know, but I like the Barrett better. There's like no recoil on that thing. I fully volunteer for that. It's it's <laughs> it's really not bad. I've shot it standing up, so is Taylor. I'll drop oh. a trigger this time. Yeah. Well, I mean, you guys, it was so freaking cold that last oh, time. Oh, dude, I fucking, I shivered the entire time Oh, my there. God. But well, it blew my drone right into the concrete wall and the light post. You, <laughs> uh, and you weren't even drunk. <laughs> that's why I couldn't. That's I'll why, see, I'll that's see why he didn't yeah, shoot. That's, yeah, that's, that's what the I'll see if I can get there. my brother out. He, he just he had a he had his hip replaced not so long ago, uh, and he has a fifty BMG as well. But his is a safe harbor. That's a bit kitchen. Uh, I was really wishing that you could have gotten that Barrett and have three. I could, I could shoot. I could shoot Matt a message and see. 
I don't know if he's got rid of it or if he kept it. I mean, if you could get that to have three BMGs at the same all time. at the same time, that would be video worthy. <laughs> <laughs> to I, have an inch my and head a half. just thinking about. Oh this. my god! I'm gonna have to like something. triple plug. I would be plugs and plug and muffs and. Yeah, plugs and then the muffs on. <laughs> yeah. The well, thing is, you can't use muffs on this. It knocks the damn muffs off every time. Oh, oh okay. and tell, I tell you, it rings.